listen, I'm about to do something that I've always wanted to do. My father, I've got a great dad. He's always tried the best for us. Like, he sacrificed a lot. He's put us through schools. He was a good dad. He was really like, when it comes to dads, I cannot complain. I got one of the best. So I wanted to do this for him for very long, but I was never by the means. And I started saving up a couple of months ago. My father has always wanted to travel, but because he had a shop, he could never leave the shop. He always used to say, we can't leave the shop. Even on holidays when we, he would send us on vacations with my mother to the beach, in the next town and then he would pop in and out because he always had a shop, he always had responsibilities, he wanted to put us through school, car payments, house payments, life starts getting heavy and he was never able to travel, he always wanted to travel and, and he's never left South Africa, he's never left South Africa, he's never been able to and now that he's older, you know, it's, it's always like, oh, you know, it's so expensive and when I ask him, he always goes, I would love to see London. I ask him like where would you like to go I'd love to see London that always comes up when I'm in other countries it always goes how's the weather there how are the people there and if I tell him about how the people are he hangs on every word because he's so curious about what's happening outside of South Africa so today I'm going to try my best not to cry but I've saved up and um I'm taking my father to London so I'm going to try and surprise him he's in Joburg at the moment me and Natalie Natalie so Natalie and I are going over there to my sister's place and then we're gonna pretend like this is one of those interviews where I do dad and mom and like like interview style stuff. So it's gonna be me and him and then I'm gonna ask Natalie to ask questions about um, we've got a sell we've got a sell it in now. I'm gonna ask him like questions about you're gonna ask him questions about how it is to bring up two boys because we must have two boys. So yeah, uh, like oh, like we'll just make something up. Yeah, but it's probably gonna be around two boys, how it is to bring up two boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drift into the conversation uh, and I'm gonna try and lead it to like, get Natalie to ask, where do you still wanna go with the show? And then I'm gonna start going like, what do you wanna, like do you, dad, is there any place you think we should go? Where have you always wanted to go? And I guarantee you, he's probably gonna say London. Yeah. And then when he says London, I'm gonna go, that's good because I'm gonna need someone to help me. Yeah, or two tickets to London. Something of that nature. Yeah. I'm gonna be crying. Let's go. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. So, I need to get the tickets off this thing printed out so that we can take it with me. By the way, my mother hates traveling long distances in a plane. So, I've asked her that you can't want to come with, and she's declined. This is just my dad wants to go to London. My mother, she's not so much for the long and the plane. We try we we tried to get it to go to Mauritius. You know how much work that was. Shoo. Natalie, mm. are you excited? Yeah. I'm just excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's an anti-climax because we're stuck in traffic. Yeah, I know. So can we get there already so I can do this? How's the real club waiting? Oh, waiting for eating. Hello, hello. I don't want to forget this. So oh, I'm putting it straight there. The other one was also in the car. Can oh. you get it already? No, it's yeah. fine. You got it. Oh. Daddy, can I bottle? Yeah, where am I going to? Okay. I'm going to get you this kind of thing. Okay, Ethan, you must be quiet, eh? Hello! So, we are here and we are interviewing my dad. Natalie is here to ask the questions. We're asking about how to bring up boys. Who fool daddy with that? <laughs> well, I have to listen to the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, you're going to ask the first question. Yeah, I'll ask the first question because I have two boys now. Okay. So, I was quite interested to know from you as a father of two. So, uh, how did you manage Alfred and Jason? Two totally different boys with two totally different personalities. How did you manage them as a father? Well, they're actually quite similar to you, eh? Uh, the one is also about between five and six years older than the other one. Mm -hmm. It's very typical because why the eldest one, when the smaller one comes, is there's a, a little bit of a jealousy. Yeah. And that part is so difficult to work out to make the 
the eldest one comfortable. The moment. I was never jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Noch nooit. So Natalie asked him like a few questions and I asked him a few questions just to make it more realistic. And he took it very seriously. And then um, eventually I had to work my way back to try and get him to say the words London out of his mouth so that I could surprise him with a ticket. <laughs> so all the places where I've toured now with the show, you've gone to a lot of them. You've... What did you enjoy the most? I think the people that come and, come and, come and view the shows they were the most interesting because why they came in the, I mean, thousands. They enjoyed it so much. Mm. And I could speak to some of them and, and, and speaking to them just, you know, the, their faces light up when, when, you, when you speak about mm. Alfred and his work and his family mm. Mm. and the fact that they love his family so much. <laughs> yeah. That made me very happy. Mm. But when it comes to the comparison between this show and the last show, this show is not worse than the last show. Mm. But I thought the first show was a more of an international audience would have appreciated Level. it a little mm. more mm. than this one. Because this one is really, the, that's why the South African people loved it so much. Because mm. why it was really built for them. Because mm. the basis of it is... Yeah, it's more relatable to a South African, yeah. So I, I saying about you spoke about touring overseas. I get to travel a lot now, which is a big privilege. Now that's a privilege that most people don't get. You and your generation, you never got to travel like out to the country. What place would you have liked to go and tour with me outside of South Africa? Where would you have liked to go and see audiences or just to see the place? What place would you have well, liked the, to see? The, the place that I would love to go and see is London uh -huh. because of the, of the history of, the, of, of that country. Uh, is big, but I mean all the other countries. Uh, I suppose is even the interesting. I haven't been anywhere else besides Mauritius, mm. and uh, going to other places is always interesting. But London is, I think, uh, a bucket list thing for me. Mm. That's a good thing mm. because we've got a gift for you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Fast, mommy. I'm touring London this February. And you're coming with. <laughs> One week we're going to the, we're gonna go, I'm touring the same place I did last year. Mm -hmm. We're doing London for a week. And you're coming with me. And we're gonna do the Big Ben and the bus and the whole works. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't bring my sunglasses. Maggie! Mm. So this whole thing was a farce just to tell you you're coming to London. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what to say, but thank you very much. So far, yeah. No problem. Daddy comes home and London too. <laughs> he doesn't even know what to say. Chup still. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you for everything. Thank you for taking care of us so that we can go to London. Kijk voor Natalie, ze is een Daddy comes from a time where you don't cry in front of the camera, so it's very hard for him. We're going to switch off now. Okay. We'll come back when he's composed. And Natalie's composed. Yeah, it's so calm. No, we were just like, here's your thing. So we're going to London now that we're a bit better. We're going to London for a week. And then we are gonna, I'm gonna take you on the big bus. We're gonna see all the, as much touristy things as we can. Mm. And then oh, we're gonna as much go. touristy things that your legs can handle. Why do you want to go with? I get for mommy gevrouw in London. Wow. So the only we reason asked we asked her months ago whether she'd like to go to London and mommy is in for a long trip. See. But that may change. Yeah. That may change. Yeah, that may change. But so we, we but me and you are definitely going and we're probably gonna be at a theatre in London and dates will also be announced in due course. Okay. Anyway, mm. enough of that. Anyhow, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> Lisa, thank Alfred, you, Natalie. Tyler. <laughs> uh, it's only our pleasure. So, there's one thing about my dad that I actually quite admire. He will never leave his wife behind. Mm. 
Mm-mm. His wife, my mother, is number one. He makes it clear in not in the words that he but says, but in his deeds. He never priority. leaves his wife behind. So as soon as things calmed down, he started going. Magi ka ini sami. Then he started. I love that though about the relationship. <laughs> then he started working on it, and then he went. My mother said, no man, I don't want to go to London and I like hotel and plane ride. And she's like, no, you go with your boy. And then my, my, my father said, man, I know your heart, you want to come. <laughs> then he goes, wait, call Jason. Then I had to video call Jason, which we didn't record. And then, <laughs> then he went, and then he went, and then he went, Jason, I'd love you to come with us mm. to London. Dude, then Jason got roped into the London mm. trip. Then Jason went, I'll only go if mommy goes. So then now my mother is going. So it was a lot of peer pressure to get my mother to go to London. But we're all going. Me, my dad, my brother and um, my mom. And um, unfortunately, my sister and our family and my wife won't be able to make it this time. But hey, there's always another time. We decided to make our own London. <laughs>